Hi, it's Dorothy Guining with Scrapbooking Quebec. In this video, I'm going to do my February 2021 monthly wrap-up and layout share. First, I'm going to show you 31 pages I created with this kit that I put together at the beginning of the month. Now, half of this material was new, and the other half was older stuff I pulled from my stash. And I ended up with this big kit full of variety and I absolutely loved the format. I'm going to put a link to my kit building video below in case you're interested. Also in February, it's the second month in a row that I had a designer focus. So this month I played along with the Mini Kit Monday Challenge Facebook group. I absolutely loved it. I'll talk a bit about it throughout the layout share and more at the end of this video. Now before continuing, I just want to mention a few things. There are a bunch of links in the description box below. I did put a link to the Mini Kit Monday Facebook group. And there are also links to all the layout process videos associated for the pages I'm about to share with you. And finally, I did have to cover up some of my photos today. And at the very end of this video, there are still photos for each one of the layouts I'm about to show you. So I'm about to show you the pages and the first 15 I created using Jen Hadfield's The Avenue Collection. I ended up making a huge dent in my stash of Jen Hadfield. Now the first one I did for YouTube for the collaboration Scrapbooking from the Heart, which actually went live today. So in addition to the process, I talk quite a bit about mindful material selection for your story and I also share some journaling tips so the link to that will be below. Now here are two more pages super simple page design and quite representative of my style. I love using white and black cardstock with pops of color. I love straight lines and I love a clean graphic look. Two more pages here and the page on the right there is a layout process video for it. I did it for the collaboration A Punched Out Thursday to Die For, and in that video I talk about how to create that apron. I give step-by-step -step instructions, so that will be linked up below. The page on the left is just a super simple grid design. Now for these two pages, the page on the left, there is a layout process video for that, and it's actually inspiration from Janet Madison at RTS Scrapbooking. It's one of her base page designs, super, super versatile. Two more pages. These, again, are quite representative of my style. Lots of neutrals, straight lines, white space. These are tons of bad photos, but I absolutely love this photo. I think I love the story. I love the layout I should say. I think I love the story. The photos aren't so great and you can see I showed you a little book there. I actually incorporated extra photos. Two more pages, a double page spread and this one was for the YouTube collaboration Stretch the Sketch where we take a sketch, a single page sketch, and we alter it. And I created that double page spread from the sketch I just showed you from page maps. Now these pages here are for the Mini Kit Monday Challenge and this one here actually was inspired by a sketch from Allison Davis at Scrapbook Generation, the 6x6 Paper Pad Sketch class. I absolutely love that class. Two more pages for the Mini Kit Monday Challenge. I'm showing you here a couple tags. Actually that page design with the pocket was inspired by a sketch I actually found on that Facebook group, Mini Kit Monday. It was in their January challenge, if you're looking for it. there It's formatted in different months, different photo album months. Anyway, I found that sketch there. And I'm about to show you the other pages again, because what I'm trying to point out here is at the beginning of January on YouTube, I showed a whole bunch of new products. And the only thing I was less thrilled about were those two packs of ephemera from Jen Hadfield. Well, I ended up using tons of it this month, so I thought it was worth mentioning. I also mentioned at the beginning of January how I loved those titles from Jen Hadfield, and it's true. I still love them. I use tons of them. So this is still Mini Kit Monday, but I've changed collections. It's the Chloe collection from Bella Boulevard, and this is a scrap lift from Galaxy Girl Creations. I did it on YouTube, and there is a link in the description box below. 
more pages from Bella Boulevard's Chloe collection. Again, this is inspiration from that class I mentioned earlier, the six by six paper pad sketches by Allison Davis at Scrapbook Generation. Two more pages, same Bella Boulevard collection. The page on the left there, I did do a YouTube process video for it for the Scrapbook Nerd, so it's linked up below. And the page on the right is just a simple grid multi-photo. Now these two pages here change collections. It's from Simple Stories, most of it from the Kate Nash collection, but I paired it with another Simple Stories collection, which is the Crafty Girl collection. And this again, inspired by that same six by six paper pad sketch class by Allison Davis. Here's another one I did for YouTube, still the Kate Nash collection. I forget the name of this collaboration. It will be linked up below, however. It was the one that went on Valentine's Day, so it was kind of all about love. More from the Kate Nash collection. This page design was a design I found on Pinterest at one point. The second page I'm showing you there on the right, those are two different stories, but they're going to go side by side in the album. And again, Kate Nash collection, simple stories. Changing collections here now, and this one is Stampin' Up! material from the Playful Pets collection. The page design was inspired by that same 6x6 paper pad sketch class I mentioned earlier, and there is a layout process video for the page that was on the left for the Punched Out Thursday to Die For collaboration. Same Stampin' Up! Playful Pets collection. The page on the right there, actually that one was inspired by Janice and Matt, Janet Madison on RTS Scrapbooking. It was kind of a leftover from my inspiration. She was my designer focus in January and that was a page I had seen, something with a film script that kind of struck me. These are the last two pages, and actually this is from a different collection from Photoplay Paper. One of their, it was their first quarantine collection. I'm showing you a sketch there. It didn't turn out like the sketch, but the jumping off point for the page on the left was from that sketch. Again, another one I found from the Mini Kit Monday group. I really had fun with it. All I'm showing you here is two products that I kind of hoped to use and then I didn't. I wanted to use them in the first few months of this year. It's a tag journal from Vicki Booten and this stamp from Studio Light. It's their grunge collection. Those two items are going to stay close to my desk until they get used up. You can see I tested the stamp, but I didn't actually incorporate it on a project. So there you have it, the pages I made in February. With regards to this kit, I ended up digging into all of the material I put together at the beginning of the month, and then I further dug into those same collections. So I ended up using tons and tons of material. But now what I want to do is talk about Mini Kit Monday and my experience this month. If you're not familiar with it, here's how it works. On the first Monday of each month, they post an inspiration prompt on their Facebook page. And this month it was a recipe challenge along with a mood board. And participants are challenged to create a kit inspired by this and then create three layouts throughout the month. Now, if you post a photo of your kit and the three layouts in the monthly album that's on the Facebook page, you may win a prize. But in addition to this, the Mini Kit Monday organizers each post a video on their YouTube channel every Monday sharing inspiration. This was really fun and not demanding at all. And I find this would be the perfect challenge for anybody who doesn't have tons of time but would like to do some scrapbooking, it's great inspiration for them. It's inspiration for everybody, but for somebody who's looking for something to give them a little bit of boost, this would be perfect. It gets you to dig into your stash and create at least three layouts a month. Now, if you want to participate, I highly recommend you look into their monthly photo albums. And this is where you, you're going to find tons of inspiration there. These albums go back for almost two years. That's where I got that handful of sketches that I showed you throughout this share. And it's also tons of stuff there. I plan to discover more there as time goes on. 
You will find a link to the Facebook group in the description box below. It is a private group, so you're going to have to join to participate. Anyway, that's it for February, folks. I'll be back tomorrow with my kit share for the month of March, as well as my designer focus. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to Scrapbooking Quebec, I would be absolutely thrilled if you did. Thank you so, so much for watching and have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.